bouts of boxing this evening. Six bouts of jump. Six bouts of championship boxing and six fights of white collar. And tonight, your judge for the first match is Mike Astrid, a former British super featherweight champion. And your judges this evening at ringside for the later bouts are Mr. Andrew Smith and Mr. Dave Petwood. Your referee for the rest of the fights this evening will be Mr. Mike Balgrave. So, without any further ado, let's introduce the first fight of the evening. And fighting out of the blue corner, from Stockport, is Reese Street! Fighting out of the red corner from Street's gym, it's Lee Hopkins! Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Streets Boxing TV. Well, well, welcome Round back to one. Brennington and uh, for another night of extreme boxing. And uh, please don't adjust your uh, computer monitors because this is what it is. It's Lee Hopkins versus Reece Street with a very big height difference, I reckon. Yeah, it's a bit of a last-minute fight here, Aaron, tonight. Lee, you can tell, is a lot of bigger mass, um, body mass, and um, we're just going to take it easy with each other for the first uh, couple of rounds, I think. Oh, sorry. Uh, Manners. Uh, my name is Mr. Showtime Aramata. Alongside me, uh, uh, Streets Boxing Gym Superstar Luke Girdlestone. How are you doing, Luke? Are you alright? Not too bad, Aramata. You? I'm doing okay. Well, Reese now getting a nice shot to the head, and uh, Luke uh, Lee Hopkins. I mean, very defensive. Yeah, like I say, Aaron, I just think uh, for the first couple of rounds, they're both just going to take it easy, feel each other out, and uh, you know, you can tell Lee's a lot bigger guy. A lot more powerful than uh, than Reese, but Reese can uh, it can be quick at times. Yeah. Also, don't forget the aggression that lies within uh, Reese Street, and uh, if Lee Hopkins really does something to make him snap, then I think he might uh, either live to regret it or I might have some fun with the guy. Yeah, there could be uh, guns at dawn. Yeah. Well, let's just see how it plays out. Anyway, it looks like uh, Lee Hopkins is uh, staying pretty defensive and not using much of his energy in the first round, as Reece Street has to... Well, it'd, it'd be pointless, Aaron, because, like I say, Lee's a lot uh, a lot bigger guy, you know, if he really decides to go in there on Reece, then he's going to do some damage. I'm going to say, I think uh, Reece Street is really in that cliche Rocky situation where he's having to face uh, a guy a lot tougher than him and uh, a lot taller than him. I'm not sure if you can remember Rocky IV, I think it was, where he had to fa face that Russian. I think. Second Rocky IV, that's, t that's Tim, isn't it? Tim looks like that Russian. Really? Yeah, I think so. Oh, Tim Doggy Dog Alcock. <laughs> Tim, Tim Dolph Lundgren Alcock. Yeah. Well, he like things nowadays. Well, we're back in round two in Reece Street now, having to be very careful of what he does. Well, Lee Hawkins only get a punch to the arm there, Reece Street's defending quite, well, defending quite well. Yeah, Lee's been very direct. He's getting straight, um, straight lefts there in on Reese's nose, and Reese has been a bit of tactical, moving about a bit more than Lee. Well, Reese Street having a heck of a career here in Streets Boxing TV. He's uh, was undefeated for uh, quite a number of fights until uh, that sad night in Bolton when he uh, lost and uh, pretty much flipped. And would you believe Mike Armstrong, the referee there, was the guy he barged out of the way to get to his opponent and, uh, well, illegally thrash him. 
Yeah, with Lee being the bigger guy, he can just fend off Reese's shots with his elbows and his shoulders. And uh, as you can see there, you know, Reese can go in, but he hasn't got the power to match Lee. Well, I guess I will have to agree with you at this point. I think if Lee Hopkins wanted to, he could uh, pretty much uh, take over the entire fight and uh, leave Reese Street in the dirt, if, well, so to say. Yeah, I mean, we've seen uh, we've seen Lee against Howard, and uh, Lee showed great tactical skill there and great awesome power. I mean, if he was to decided to let loose on Reese, then, you know, it'd be a different story. But it, that's not what it's about tonight. Tonight it is an exhibition, and yeah. uh, it's about showing off what each boxer's skills are. Oh, you've got to give credit to Reece Street, you know, uh, he's... Uh, I, I, I give credit to anybody who gets in there with a, bo a bloke who's a lot bigger than them. And uh, Reece is very, yeah. very, very brave so tonight. So this must be like a huge promotion for like Reece Street to face off against uh, someone uh, like uh, well, Lee Hopkins. Not only that, Lee can le uh, Reece can learn a bit off Lee and also, um, you know, with him going in a bit against a guy who's a lot bigger than him. Then uh, Reese is going to learn to be able to use oh, himself a bit. A huge punch there by Lee Hopkins onto the side of the face of Reese Street and I think he'll be feeling that tomorrow. Yeah, Reese's punches just seems to be bouncing off Lee but um, we expect that. No, oh, it comes back there Reese, oh brave lad, brave lad. I think getting pain out of Lee Hawkins uh, right now for Reese Street, it's like getting blood out of a stone, it just doesn't look possible. For Reese's size or Reese has got some power. Yeah, I know, yeah, Reese is, uh, could easily, uh, possibly, uh, take over Lee really Hopkins on probably speed but you know Lee Hopkins will probably find a way to slow him down you know with more experience uh, of facing this type of opponent. Yeah I mean when we watched uh, Reese in, in Preston against Suz Mumba and um, Suz is a, bit, a bigger lad than Reese but uh, Reese definitely rocks Suz. Well no offense to Suz Mumba but he's a 40 year old fossil in my opinion. <laughs> uh, I thought you yeah. said you was going to be unbiased. Uh, Let's just say I know a few things. All oh, right, okay. I've got a lot wiser since our last encounter. All oh, right. Look forward to hearing some wise comments then, Aaron. Uh huh. I hope so too. That wasn't wise, was it? No, it wasn't. I apologise. <laughs> Forgive me. Sounded like a little yelping lady then. Nah. Uh, anyway. Well, just to let you all know, you can. Uh, you can tune into uh, www.streetsboxing.co.uk for all the latest news, rumours and our event schedule as well of a streets boxing gym and uh, various uh, shows that will be happening around the country. So uh, keep staying tuned to us and uh, watch our shows. We need the spot. Thank you. Fourth and final round. Should see both boxers go for it a little bit more right now in this fourth yeah. and final Mind round. Yeah, he he yeah. imagine if he survived the whole four rounds. Oh, a punch there by uh, Lee Hopkins, and that Lee left probably Reece Street a little bit rattled, but nothing to be uh, too concerned about. Look at that. Huge combination punches there by Reece Street, and he's really going for it this time. Both boxers are uh, rocking each other, then. Say, Lee Hopkins must be shocked at the power of Reece Street, at least. Yeah, like I say, for Reece's size, he's definitely got a lot of power. Two punches there by Lee Hopkins, and he's really going to have to try and stay on top of him now, unless he wants Reece Street to absolutely take him over. And look at all these punches flying into Lee Hopkins, and uh, I don't think Lee Hopkins can actually believe what's happening. Reese's combinations are fantastic there. He's doing really well against uh, Lee. Uh, oh, many, he's got Lee there with the left. How many combinations was that? I counted like eight to ten, something like that. I lost count halfway through. But each time Lee's coming back, he's unfazed by it. Oh, he ducked it. That was a fantastic match between two p opponents that were uh, definitely unmatched. Yeah, I've got to say, I've got a huge respect for Reese Street after this fight. Definitely a confidence booster there for Reese. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Armstrong scores a contest, a draw. Fair result, Aaron, definitely Would you believe it? Would you believe this? Uh, uh, Reece Street has pretty much almost played to the level of Lee Hopkins. Well done. That's almost unfounded here, if that's you think about the, it. Yeah, that's definitely a better result for Reece than it is for Lee. Well, your result of the evening uh, for Reece Street and Lee Hopkins, a draw.